Alrighty, Spartans and Hunters, how's it going, y'all? We're back at it again. I'm here to show y'all how to use Prism Live Studios Part 2. This is what I learned. The adventures of me using this for like a year, basically, now. So, this is a cloud based system. Other people will prefer using OBS, right? But what I like about Prism Live is. You could get good quality from this if you know what you're doing. And what I love about this, you don't need a plugin to have a green screen on your camera. I'm going to show you that as well. First things first. You're going to want to go. Settings, you know, go go to your settings, right? Go to your output. <clears throat> if you want to copy my settings, that's OK. You want to use NVIDIA NVENC. 1920 by 1080 because I know that's what YouTube and Twitch prefers and 6,000 kilobyte kilobyte is my thing and then here's the other settings that I got that won't let my PC crash as much <clears throat> my way this is a Ryzen 5 3600 and a GTX 1080 Ti <clears throat> build my bitrate for recording is different because for, for recording you got a higher bitrate if you have a good enough PC like I have audio leave it the same now this audio this is the important make sure you leave everything default if you have a same system like i do like the elgato wave 3 mic which pretty soon i'm gonna upgrade this to my dream mic my dream mic is one of these two it's an audio technica but i heard they made a usb version over the xlr i might get that usb version of the audio technica or the sure s or the sure mic not a sure sm7b but the little brother of the mic like a plus that came out that's like has the same features as this one but it's a usb slash xlr mic it's a combo mic <clears throat> it's smaller yeah and it's a lot better sounding than this microphone it is because this one had to do so many tweaking and stuff like that and i hate it um uh what else but i'm gonna get one of those two because the audio technica was my dream mic that i wanted for such a long time or the show we'll see which one i'm gonna get all right, you see this where it says Elgato Wave Stream? Uh, you can say your Elgato capture card here, whatever you want, but make sure if you're using a system like I am, like the Elgato system, like if you have a Wave 3 or the XLR, this, yours is going to say Wave XLR. You just hit Wave XLR, and then here's mine, the Elgato Wave 3. Now, setting it up on the Wave 3 Wavelink app, make sure you just got your Elgato Wave 3 here. It's all being picked up on the thing. Now, how to get audio from the game capture? You could do it here, but there was audios and bugs and issues with me. I wonder if it's fixed because I love it because it sounds better than using the original in <clears throat> here. So that's how you do that video. I set everything to 1920 by 1080 at 60 FPS. Don't care. Now, you're going, let's say you're going into this blind because I'm not changing anything out of all these. You see my PlayStation in the background. Now, what I do is we have a new scene here. It's scene two, right? If you want to have your capture card added, you don't have to open up your 4K capture, you know. Um, I found a few friends of mine doing this, like three of them still do this. They have OBS open in the background and streaming and, and or they have Prism Live open in the background while streaming. You don't really need it open. If you want to capture something or record something, just hit the record button on it and prism live studios can actually do that you can record and go live i did that before <clears throat> so you don't have to have prism uh, elgato wavelink or the elgato 4k capture open so this is what you want to do when to click on do not click on the game capture that's for pc gaming folks okay i repeat that is for pc gaming if you want to do pc gaming stuff okay you can do browser too and, and all that but here's the important one Go here, video capture device. Go here. We'll click on one that we already did. Let's add an existing source, HD 60 Pro Mark II. And there's our PlayStation 5. You hear the noise? There's me. Click on that. Okay. This is my private account, so only OGs know my, my real account. I only got my account, y'all. It's private. I changed it for a reason um here's another thing that i learned about using this device we go here right see all this other stuff is pretty cool what i see 
you get audio visualizer too as you see let me show you really cool if like i don't do no uh no normal stuff you have to set this up though kind of difficult i see a friend of mine set up the audio visualizer in his streams and it looks very, very fucking cool so the audio visualizer you want to go to properties uh, maybe we could set it to that huh now it doesn't want to work the hell <clears throat> the hell i set it up before I know I set this up before last. Oh, there it is. Make auxiliary device. There we go. That. No. Nah. It's it's hard to set that up. You, you got to set it up. And it, so that's good if you like doing news reports and you want people to see your voice meter go up. But here's another thing that I learned. Um. Viewer count which I don't know why would you want that. Prism chat. You can have that on the overlay. This is the important one. Prism lens. What prism lens is is basically like a better green screen you don't need a green screen guys if uh you use this device by the way so let me this and then let me this popped up in the background so i want to have it as a green screen is you want to hit this button right here and then you want to use your c920 i'm using my logitech not my ps5 camera um i got unplugged here's your c920 there i am hi guys um so you don't have to have this open i think uh, you hit okay and then let me move this a little bit this way and look at that i'm in the background you can still see stuff in the background i, I could tweak that all right Uh, how did it go again? I gotta hit Alt or is it Shift? Ah, yeah, I can resize it with Shift. All right, there. So, as you can see, you don't need a green screen with this application, which is sucking dope. This is what happens when you see a microphone, but when you see stuff like a green hue accent it's gonna start to mess up so yeah since this has green rgb it don't like green light for some reason that's why i love this application guys um it's pretty cool then also what i learned you can have the mobile app you can have a text template you can have the viewer account which is freaking cool um, this is kind of new. The Prism chat is new. They added that in the last update. Hold on, let me see what this does. <clears throat> oh, that's dope. Okay. That's what my friend Lens does. If you don't know Lens of Truth, he's a small content creator, guys. Uh, I'm going to post this link in the chat. I don't have this open, by the way. So, that's... Too distracting and too much stuff being added on this now my favorite one is prism chat this is new that they added so you can add prism chat and then you can have a certain kind for me i'm either gonna have this one or this one one of these two and then i'll have y'all open i'll have y'all right here or right over here or Somewhere, somewhere in the corner, I gotta put y'all. I don't have y'all on screen because somebody has to say some the stuff that are like private that we can't show, you know. So I delete that. We got that. I like the gift sticker and the prism sticker. It's kind of cool. <clears throat> prism sticker is like you use all these stickers and they'll just show up on the screen as you see. You can delete them if you want. And bam now that this has overlays actually believe it or not but i'm not gonna go to it because mine is gonna crash i'm not even doing nothing and it's gonna crash so 
it does it even if I'm not streaming or recording on a different program. Kind of sucks. So then we got to get we got the music playlist, which you could play music from your own playlist, and they could play here audio visualizer. We know that background template. We got a background template. Clock widget. We have a clock as well. You could put the timer clock <coughs> of whatever your specific region is, and you can do it there. You could draw on this too. If you click here, you could draw on the screen, and the little line and stuff will show up. But it's cool. I love Prism Live Studios. I've been using it for a while. By the way, guys, I lost a lot of weight. Here you go. Awesome weight. <laughs> my shirt don't fit me no more. I've been working on my upper area. I've been working slow. You know, that's why I look a little different. If you guys notice, I don't use my face cam. Working on my face to clean it up, you know? So, yeah, I'm 33, by the way. I just turned 33. But yeah. Oh, I forgot to say my intro. Subspartans and Hunters are back at it again. How, how rude of me. Uh, yeah, this application is, is dope. Also, here, if you want to multi stream, this is a free multi streaming application. You just got to click on these buttons right here. If you want to go live, both chats will show up here. You could go in each chat and see who's in your chats at the time of the live recording. Um, it's just cool. Oh, I've been loving this. Uh, the ad channels you go here. These are the channels you can get, but you could do custom URLs, by the way. So you could do custom URLs and then you can just add whatever you want. I just have YouTube and that if I have Facebook or any other kick. We we ain't going to talk about kick It's ass for small streamers. A lot of the big streamers from Twitch moved over for kick and they're ruining it for everybody. I don't like kick for that freaking reason. It's a mess. Um, like Kick, kick is at all times a mess. Like you can open up tabs and you can pretty much you, you, you can pretty much abuse the system and have like a lot of tabs open and act like you're, you know, a big streamer and shit, you know, but yeah, guys, this is Prism Live. I've been using this device a lot, been enjoying it. Oh, forgot to show you all one thing about what you need to turn off with this make sure you disable video buffering if you don't disable the video buffering um it's gonna lag video is gonna lag out horribly like stuff will be in the background uh not working let's give it a shot with this I got Ghost of Tsushima in, so let me show you how this looks. This still looks good, even in the background, guys. See, I'm not in the way. So, with more fighting game content or different game content, we're gonna do, we're gonna use it on that. Most likely, we'll use this camera, not the PlayStation camera. It's a bit too bright. I kind of like this one because it's this. It's just right, you know, it's, it's just right. So. The hell? Hey, the music just shot off, okay. But yeah, this is your boy Ronin Storm. This is like a little stuff that I learned on my adventures of using Prism Live Studios. I uninstall OBS, I'm only doing this just to record this whole process because I can't go through certain things. So yeah, if you know who I am, I am Ronin Storm. I game on Xbox, PlayStation, PC, Nintendo. Prefer PC, PlayStation, Nintendo. Be sure to smash that subscribe button. I'm out. I'm recording this early in the morning. Woke up early. I'm tired as hell. I'm out. Peace out, y'all. Have a good one. And I'm out of here. Tune in to Ghost of Tsushima. We're almost done to that. 100 freaking videos. Uh, let, 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 let's not talk about that 100 videos but i'm out have a good one y'all i'm out of here